Hello, hello, this is Minecralix here, and I am bringing you another video. This one is going to be about Half-Life 1, also known as the original Half-Life, um... And this video is a tips and tricks video about the trip mine. The trip mine is a weapon in Half-Life 1 and Half-Life Opposing Force that can be, um, put on a wall, and is the only... I think it might be the only weapon in Half-Life 1 that can be actually placed on a wall, as you can see here. Uh, now, when you place it down, it kind of has a cool-down period. It waits. It kind of makes this little sound, and um, and then it just, like, lights up and, with a laser, and if you cross that laser, then it will kill you, most likely, and uh, unless if it's, like, really far out. Um, because the module itself explodes, a uh, big misconception with these strip mines is that the laser itself kills you, but it's uh, the explosion of the mo of the laser module that kills you. Um, to destroy one of them, you just simply shoot at it, and as you can see, it is has an extremely powerful explosion force. This is probably the strongest weapon that explodes in the map because even shooting it from here. As you can see, that that just killed me. I'm I'm really really far away, but that almost killed me. Took away almost all of my health. Um, so it is indeed a very powerful weapon, but it needs to be used correctly to kill people. Um, now the basics with the trip mine is, as you can see, I have five in my um, inventory on the bottom right hand side, and I cannot pick any more up because five is the limit for these trip mines. A good place to put them would be in places like ladders or places where players kind of like you 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 come you turn a corner and you don't really look up you just climb up and that will kill many people so you put them in these ladders like this make sure to put more than one well at least two because that way it's gonna kill the player more um, and the good thing with these tight corners like this is that it not only kills the player if he or she does not notice the trip mines and climbs up, it also kills the player if you can see I just sh did you see that? I just I saw the trip mines and I tried to destroy them, but the trip mines still killed me, and that's probably one of the most useful places to place trip mines in places that will surely kill the player no matter if he or she notices or not. Um, another use for trip mines is to place them near portals. As you can see when I come inside the portal, for example, just place a trip mine right over here and any player that teleports from this portal will instantly be killed. It's a very great way of placing trip mines because the player has no idea that there are trip mines waiting for him or her. Um, another use, uh, another good way to use strip mines is to use them as kind of like, uh, as kind of like, even if it doesn't necessarily kill the player, it will notify you. For example, if you place the trip mines here, then the player will most likely blow them up. And if I am up here trying to snipe people with a sniper rifle or just shooting with my RPG here, then people are gonna try to come up here and kill me. And a trip mine can kind of be an alarm because if I hear an explosion from the bottom, I know that there's somebody there who blew up my trip mines, and then I will ambush him or her and kill that person before they can um, ambush my little um, my tower here. Um, the thing with trip mines is you n you have to know how to use them correctly. Do not this, an example of placing bad trip mines is just placing them down like this. This is only going to work in very, very tight corners where the player is most likely not going to see it because it's very, very easy to just simply crawl under one or jump over one. Um, so that's why this is a, not a very good place to put trip mines. A good place to put trip mines would be really, really low under here or really high up here. Because that way the player might not notice the trip mine since it's so low down here and accidentally trip over it. Another thing is to place them so close to a corner. Imagine there's a corner there so that the player cannot blow them up because if the player blows them up it's going to kill them anyway. So the player will try to um, 
jump over this like leave a little gap there which is gonna try to make the person jump over it as you can see work this time and but eventually a player will come by and go like this and just kill themselves by trying to jump over it which um which even though the player noticed the trip mines still got killed um the thing with the trip mines though is they do have some drawbacks and glitches is uh, as you can see if you place a trip mine down here it is very very hard to notice and it's very easy to come by but unfortunately there's a glitch where you can get around trip mines is you can actually stand on top of the trip mine itself without activating it as you can see I'm just jumping around here and not getting killed even though I would instantly get killed even if I blew it up from far away even if I blew it up from here and wow and as you can see this is a really really big glitch with trip mines is that the trip mines actually don't the trip mines actually don't if I take um if I take a crossbow and shoot it oh didn't work there well yeah I guess they don't have glitches oh lucky me there's some trip mines here uh, another thing is not to use trip mines is never to put them down like down on the ground um, and this is for most occasions, but in some in instances it would be okay to place them down like this, but not in this instance. Another thing never to do is to place a trip mine like right here, because a player could just easily just walk by right here and just explode the trip mine without damaging themselves. So only place it where the laser kind of doesn't go too far, because then it will make it too vulnerable. Another place people place trip mines for example right here or right here where a person just comes down here and explodes themselves um, another really great place to place trip mines is for places where people don't notice them for example say put a trip mine like put two I have only one trip mine but just place it somewhere around here oh that that was a fail yeah so just place a trip mine somewhere like around here so when the player will open this little thing right here and will jump down and kill themselves um, another place to place another good place to uh, place your trip mines is when you jump into the water if there's strip mines here there's no way to know because the water is not transparent in half-life one at least um, there are many other ways to use these strip mines this is a general video um, thank you for your patience. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. This is Mine Kralix here. I'm out.